you, you lucky so and so. Uh, hi, I'm Chris. I'm Matt Onetta. Matt Onetta, and we're playing Bayonetta, the oh, the all new, brand new release for uh, Switch. I am so excited. I have not seen it at all. We are going to be trying out both games My because made a pair. Um, yeah, it's one of those games I usually get shit uh, digitally, but how can you turn that down? It's yeah, like you Nintendo. said Mario Odyssey was going to be your last physical game ever. It, well, it's, that's the Nintendo way. They they would rather they would rather you buy the physical version, so they include an entire new entire Bayonetta game on the only. Does the Bayonetta physical. one not come with the digital version? Nope. Oh, you gotta They're buy the sold physical separately. One. I guess we should probably skip this. Super Odo, um, Super Odo. It's also fucking cold here. It's, it's cold freezing. as hell. Although it's like fifty. <laughs> it sucked last Super night in California. Like, I yeah, remember I said on some night. podcast I thought I was getting sick. Because why am I this cold? Mm -hmm. This never happens. So we're both wearing beanies. We're wearing beanies. If you listen to bonus time uh, today, um, it'll be up like right. I scheduled it to go live during the stream, so there was no competition. Mm -hmm. um, you can t I'll tell you where I got the hat. It was Six Flags. Oh yeah, new bonus time to talk about that. I had a ton of fun on that bonus time. You playing right now? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was a cutscene. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta remember how to play first. Is this one or two? This is more starting with one, and we'll show you two. Because, like, I played two a lot for Wii U, uh, and I didn't really spend a ton of time with one. Uh, but one's the older game, so let's see how it holds up. I'm sure two demo look great. One. That's all I've, I've ever played a bin in. It was the Devil demo on PS3. Yeah, I like Devil May Cry. I played the first Devil May Cry. I played DMC. Is that it? I think that's it. I don't know. For some reason, I just assumed you would love this game. I like games Japanese like this. Japanese is fuck, over like the top, this. hilarious. Well, I wrote for a Sega fan site at the time that the first one came out, and we were like, a good, huge Sega game? What? Yeah. And everyone was really excited for it. But I was also very broke and never picked it up. True. I remember it was one of the few games at Games Radar. They, like, reviewed, it's a 10 out of 10. We were one of the few people to give it that, and I think it, I think it's worthwhile. Who reviewed it? Uh, someone in the UK, someone I didn't know personally, or you would have heard from on the podcast. Jim but, Sterling? Um, no, I don't think he did reviews for us. He wrote for Games Radar. He did. The tremendous radiance of God I remember he when he got the when he started doing that, he was very excited about it. He also wrote for that Sega fan site that I wrote for. He was on our podcast. I replaced him on our podcast when he had to go and be famous. Does that podcast still happen? No. No. And actually, I think it recently ended. I haven't been on it in like 10 years. No. The new version of Bayonetta comes with Nintendo costumes with the Link 1 only uh, changing the gameplay a tiny bit. I know. I wish I wish Matt had an open uh, Link amiibo, but he let us down. Remember, it's all his fault. Yeah, look at all these Not my fault for not wanting to open amiibos my amiibos on this wall <laughs> that we could possibly not use. So the, there's only like two uh, attack buttons, but like there's a ton of different combos you can do, and I just got to get reacquainted with the uh, controls. But right now... This is what, what do they call that? An abilities? This is sort of me capable You're of everything strong. in the beginning. And, they'll, and then they take them all they'll away. They'll take them all away. The Metroid. The Metroid Shuffle. Do they call it that? Um, I would. <laughs> yeah, I think Metroid kind of... It, was, it's, it made that, that move famous. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It's like a demo before, like for a game you just bought. <gasps> and uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night also famously did that. When you're running up to the castle in the beginning and you have all those cool weapons and they all get taken away. So the intro to the second Bayonetta is kind of like my favorite thing in the universe. I can't wait for you to see it. 19 minute fire points out. Between her, Twintail from Arms, Zelda, Marina from Splatoon, and most of the blades from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the Switch is leading the way of waifus this generation. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Mario Bava movie. Yeah, it's kind of one of those batshit, insane, like, super Japanese games that mm -hmm. I think wouldn't have a chance unless someone like Nintendo... I don't know where Nintendo got the idea to first party this game, but yeah, I'm they really glad step they in. They, they really got behind it, too. They put out Bayonetta 2. They put her yeah. in Smash Brothers. They put this out on the Switch now. I look for a Sega logo. <laughs> is there a third one coming? There is, they announced the third one on a Direct. Don't forget all the waifus and uh, Fire Emblem Warriors as Red Rock. Mm -hmm. Skip this crap. Stay City Pro says F Zero Kongavania. <laughs> I'd play that. Okay. Let's just start. No All of her costumes are made out of her hair, right? I think so. And when yeah, she uses pretty some much. attack, she gets naked. I remember that. You can barely see it, but yeah. Yeah, but people got real heated about it. People were like, ooh, sexy naked Tina mm -hmm. Fey lady running around. <laughs> 
But or, it was uh, like right before like there would have been a thousand think pieces on why that's not okay. Yeah. Like Bane and is somehow grandfathered into all that. And uh, Sarah Palin. I remember a lot of people oh, saying wow. she was hot Sarah Palin. You know who else is hot Sarah Palin? Who? Sarah Palin. She used to be, yeah. Uh, well, don't say that. No, that's worse than what I said. It's more that like I can't stand <laughs> it. Every time I see her, I'm like, ugh. This is cool. Ugh. No, I, we were having we were having that discussion, I think, on VGA whether Sega was involved with this in any way anymore. Because I'm absolutely not sure. I remember. I don't think so, right? I thought I saw their logo imagine. in Bayonetta 2 for Wii U. Yeah. Even though I'm pretty sure they had nothing to do with its development and don't. They didn't like start it, and then Nintendo took it over. Well, maybe? you have to remember in this From game, Platinum. the the currency in this game are Sonic rings <laughs> and make those noise. There's a Space Harrier portion. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, yeah. You can't really There's make this without Sega's approval. Joe Pesci's in this game. Yeah. Yeah, the Space Harrier thing she's on the back of that rocket, like in Space Harrier. Mm -hmm. I remember that. But the second game doesn't have a ton of Sega references. It has more Nintendo references. Get out of here, Catwood. Hey, Jim Minifar, how young do you think I am? He says, Matt, are you old enough to remember Nail and Palin? <laughs> Wasn't who's Nail and Palin? Mm -hmm. I remember that. I was 20 when that happened. Uh, Sixty Pro says, where's the Kojima tombstone? <laughs> Kojima. He's not involved in this. But you gotta keep the no, he hates head. Platinum. They took uh, a you game away that would have been head. good, and they made it not good, or whatever he said that one time. I mean, that's another one to save, too. It what? just had its fifth anniversary. Uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, nope, nope. Slice, Slicey Boys. What's that game called? <laughs> I'm not going to be using any of this, but feel free to look at it. Um, so is there a way, there's no way to replicate that with that controller? I mean, oh, they're, I but, they're button prompts, right? It just lets you use the touchscreen. So do love yeah, there this. You go. So you can play it with the touch screen? Weird. It's something nobody was asking for. Was it on an iPad? <laughs> it's on PC, so like for I think Bob said this is the third time mm. he's bought the game. Happy to do it. Manny C. Allen, mm. uh, guest on this week's bonus time and an upcoming all... laser time, says uh, Sega is in the legal line of the Bayonetta website and there is a logo there. And okay. he links to the website in the chat. Yeah, I, I, you can't publish a an accurate <laughs> version of uh, Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> now, I love this when the game... You, I, I wonder what the load times are like. The load times, especially on the PS3 for the original Bayonetta, were long. Is this masking a load time? Uh, but that's how, this is how they did it. You'd enter this room and just yeah. practice combos. And as you can see, like just with two buttons alone, there's kind of a billion combos. Like walking around in Assassin's Creed? You yes. walk around the outside of the Animus? Except you get to practice shit. Because like you, you're like DMC, you're rated on style. Mm -hmm. um, and you're yes. rated... Uh, Nigel Minifar says, Harry turned to Bayonetta after Marv committed suicide in prison. Uh, when I saw the Birthday Boys live uh, a month ago, they did a sketch that was Harry and Marv singing Knock, Knock, Knockin' on Kevin's Door. And it was just, they just changed that song to be about wow. Home Alone, and they were dressed like it was hilarious. Okay. It was, uh, I think it was Chris Van Arts Day on and uh, uh, Tim Kalpakis. And enemies will move in slow motion if you elegantly dodge. Don't remember no, how to do this. Not Chris Van Arts Day What's that guy's name? The one with the square jaw. Okay, I'm not Master says Ninja Gaiden DS had those kind of touch controls. It, it did? Was yeah, that game it did. good? Uh, it wasn't bad, I think. Was it called Ninja Gaiden Doom Striker or uh, Ninja Gaiden Dark Sorcerer? I'm trying to get the real authentic witch time here. I got it! I nailed it! Oh, Easy Pizza says they've been job hunting for the last two weeks. Hope you're doing alright. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> Red Rock wants to know if we're feeling better. Yes, much, much, much better. I was I was very ill for like a week and a half. I was in bed for like four days straight. The only time I left was to go get comfort food and medicine. I left for sushi one Which night and combo. I went to McDonald's one day because I was like, I don't care, I'm sick. Give me the garbage. But this is just one of those games, like it's not terribly deep, but like... Every second, something fun is happening. Something ridiculous goes down. Yeah, two goes for more of the story, right? Yeah, more I mean, the I, first dude, one. I have no idea what the story is. Someone was asking me, and like, I don't know, I think the devil's involved. I really don't remember. Yeah, the devil is involved, and angels and, and shit like that. I remember that. This looks pretty good. But it's like there's this looks just like a Switch game. Insane shit every couple seconds. It's just I don't know why it looks so fuzzy, but technically, it's a little, yeah, it's a little fuzzy. I probably for frame rate things, and it's also like you know could have more polygons. The textures look good. Yeah, but technically this game is 10 years old. I don't think yeah. they added more polygons to it. Is it 10 years old? Almost, yeah. It was 0, 09, 09, right? Or, or was 10. it 2010? I think it might have been 10. What? Before I took an improv class, I know that. 
What did, what did 19 Minute Fire Oh, say? you didn't see that article? No. The, there's an article going around right now. The newest article about what a shithole San Francisco is uh, mm-hmm. is, a, is a much more informative look at how much uh, feces and needles and garbage are on the ground everywhere, which <laughs> I cannot walk to... I cannot walk two blocks away from my house and I live in a the, one of the nicer parts of San Francisco mm. without almost stepping on poop every mm. single day I almost step on poop every day of my life in San Francisco it, and you can totally tell human poop from the second you see yeah you can tell it's human poop well, I was walking right. with Bob and Hank uh, and Bob's girlfriend and Hank's husband the other night and we stepped over Hello. like it was like 11 needles Check in one out. place just on the ground our target, if you poop in the target that's right down the street, there's a needle drop thing right next to the toilet. It's crazy. I almost had a drink on it once and was like, oh, no, not on there. All right, we're good. <laughs> Matty Salen says he stepped in poo on his way to the last live Talking Simpsons show, which is, yeah. in, I mean, that's the tenderloin. You're going to step on poop there. For sure. <laughs> and Jimmy Newfire says he called the shit poop. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good and if you can't hear there's probably a song that'll get us blocked mm. on uh, the YouTube I was working on my Adam Sandler pressure in the shower today I'm not this good is, at uh, it I'm the only person the moon, who can't do it which you anime nerds would recognize from Evangelion mm. the theme which song. version though there's so many different versions in Evangelion it's, a, it's an exclusive version yeah well, but yeah, but in Ava, it was like every couple episodes it would change. But I found it kind of weird, like... But I'm a This song's a little on the nose, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, she does fly to the moon. Oh, that should have been a dodge. But you want to get more combo points, so you get more halos. And getting more halos is uh, how you unlock new costumes, new moves. High altitude, low opening jumps? No, oh, what the fuck is that? That's when you jump, for, it's how people jump from like really high up, like skydive from... Like, it's that's how Metal Gear Solid 3 opens. It okay. is a halo jump. <laughs> Detective Pikachu. Uh, while Garbage is banned, is gotta pick up all those spaghettios. I reckon Revenge is their most fun games is lacquerware. I think I, I need to give that game another shot. Easy peasy one stuff. I've ever had a dark shower. Do you mean like showering in the dark, or is that something like <laughs> what's going on? Is that some kind of kinky thing I don't know about? <laughs> I gave a girl a dark shower once. I mean, I do shower. I love showering in the dark. You ever do that? No. It's awesome. It's no. such a great. It's such a calming, nice experience. I mean, it seems just thinking about it seems like a bad dream. It's one of those. It's like a sensory experience with your whole body. What is happening to our sound? We yeah, sound last all right. Night. That was the first time, though. All right, now it's gone again. Uh, Manny Sion says, "Read the dossier about dark." Sh- oh, is it a Metal Gear Solid Three thing? I don't remember that. Red Rocks is there to take a dark shower when the power went out after a tornado. I've had to do that too. Take to do it when the power's out. I lived in Connecticut uh, for one winter, which don't do that. Never do that. Don't go there during the winter. And uh, our power went out one evening, and we went outside pitch black. I've never been in that kind of darkness, like in a public place where people live. I can't remember if there's. Oh, any, it's a uh, Trump thing. Okay, <laughs> I'm not aware of that. Ooh, I'm not doing great. I gotta start. I gotta Fox. start getting dodged. Those angels. There we go. Man. Those are the meanest angels. Since uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. A Red Rock lives in Kansas, aka Tornado Town. Is that Tornado Alley? Is that where that is? Oh, that was a dodge. That was a dodge. Uh, Angry Food Salad asked if I was affected by the huge blackout in 2002. Where was that? Is that in? I would have been in New Jersey then. Is that we had repeated blackouts there? there. I don't know what there you're is. talking about. I was 12, mm. Angry Sound. <laughs> it mm. does do it. I would have been 12 into 13. Mm. Redon should be paying me for even touching these toys. Indeed. <laughs> Stacey Pro wants to know if after all you get all the halos, do you get some sort of chaotic gems, <laughs> sapphires, or pearls, perhaps? The entire eastern seaboard had power go out in 2002? Did? Oh, I guess, yeah, I kind of remember of, that. I do remember that, yeah. How's our, like, our sound's doing something weird to us, I have to I imagine. Think it's just the monitor. I don't yeah. think it's the mics. Uh, Lacquerware says, pro tips, get every cutscene. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I, I didn't realize they're animated like this. Uh, I totally forgot, too, because the second, the second, again, we're going to play the second one, too, so stay tuned. The opening is stellar. So look at this. It tells you how many times you pulled off one of these combos. Oh, he says they're boring and insipid. I think that the dialogue sequences, but stuff like this is always pretty entertaining. Yeah. Oh, Falamish says we sound fine. I think it's just our monitors going away. Yeah, weird. monitors are weird. The monitor on that mic always goes out. And also this one. So <laughs> maybe they all are shortened out now. Well, your patronage is appreciated. Uh, Patreon.com slash laser time. Is this guy a good guy? He's a good guy. Yeah. Okay. 
Forget about it. He's your it. comic relief. Good guys usually don't say forget about it. I love it. that. She's got a gun in her as her heel. Uh, really Fresh says, have you SJWs complained about how problematic this game is? Is the game problematic? I mean, not me. It's... I, I was telling someone about that. Objectification is an issue we need to deal with. But uh, some... Objectification will always exist in certain things. It just shouldn't be part of everything. Yeah. And you want to make a game with a risque character who's super hot and does cheesecake shit? There's a place for that. Just doesn't have to be... For a while, that was just every game that we played. Mm -hmm. This guy has a ponytail. Look at his ponytail! It's, it, oh, that's awful. It didn't change that's with the wind. That's awful. It's clipping through his flight bomber jacket. When he turned, it just kept sticking straight out. Ed Nedna. Poverty Game Nights is a wise man once said, How do you fucking oh. hold pistols with your feet? Night <laughs> that's, that's a No More Whoppers reference. A Night Team Fire says the, this is OutRun music. Uh, I don't Bane, know if it still is. Easy, Maybe it was a second ago. Easy Peasy's asking, did Bayonetta not sell well? Hence, uh, Wii U exclusive for Bay 2. I think it sold very well, but that was at that time when game development was becoming so expensive. I think Sega was just kind of looking for a co-financer. Yeah, this was a big game. Yeah, it sold real well, to my knowledge. I mean, people, especially like, critically, mm -hmm. people loved it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It was one of my favorite games of that generation, and yeah. because, Jesus. I remember uh, I was a big listener to Pod Toy at the time, and they mm -hmm. talked about it for months. Yeah, it's so good. Anybody remember Pod Toy? Anybody in the chat? Pod that was the Destructoids. Destructoids. Yeah, Destructoids podcast at the time. It's going to get you close to finding the other stuff. None of the stuff is moving. They're in a convertible. I know. There should be some wind. Hey, Mr. Neil Esquire is playing Puyo Puyo Tetris. Atta boy, Neil. Good for him. Story. Plot. <laughs> After jewels instead of cash. Just like a girl. <laughs> Uh, Jonah Gregory says, does this version have the Nintendo adverts on the Wii U? It does, uh, right? Well, only the second game had that anyway. No. I don't know if that's included in the first game. It seems like something they could have done, but it's the first thing I fucking did in Bayonetta 2. This mm -hmm. Star Fox outfit is just wonderful. Her 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 shoes turn into R-wings. <laughs> uh, it's great. Yeah, because this was a Nintendo game. But, uh, game. yeah, just, I, I also like it has a, it has a, not a, not a peach, daisy. It has a daisy outfit. Uh -huh. I don't think anybody got a daisy outfit. So, yes, there's a sexy Daisy outfit. Uh, Sarush X says that the first one does have them, except the Street Fighter outfit. There was a Street Fighter outfit? There was? Did she dress up like Chun-Li or Cammy or Not something? Not to my knowledge, no. Willie Fresh is playing Bayonetta. He was just nah. talking to us. Pay we'll attention. See. He was last night for our Blade commentary. Oh, is he not here right now? Check it, patrons. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't been able to look. It's been a blur since last night. Oh, he meant, by SF, he meant Star Fox, not Street Fighter. SF means Street Fighter. <laughs> Come on. Or San Francisco. No, it doesn't. San Fran. Frisco. Look at this shit. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so they're saying this game only has four, so I guess not. Yeah, four costumes. Not including the Star Fox. Gatlin Combo says they missed Podtoid. Yeah, Pate was a good show. That was one of the early game podcasts I got Chris, into. do you have the Ryu DLC from Monster World? I, I did. I just kind of don't like those uh, kind of event quests. But I guess you can, you, you can, after a while, you can unlock, yeah, Ryu armor. Mm -hmm. This makes me think of Nier. Nice. I got a stream, a stream cameo. This is really fresh. Indeed, <laughs> you did. Chris forgot to turn on his notifications. What a silly boy. Don't dox any of his uh, Switch friends. Uh, Nineteen Minute Fire says this game infringes on you because you also wear an outfit made of hair. Not nice. Ban him. Nineteen Minute Fire, you're dead. No, that's fine. I also don't know how to do that. I do. So she's she's bad, Bayonetta. She's Learned. bad, Bayonetta. Does everyone wear glasses? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Japanese games of this time looked just like this. Like the textures, the coloring. Uh, the movement of the camera. This this is very evocative of that time. We're looking at things like, oh, what's that Sega RPG for the PS3? Somebody refresh my memory, uh, which I heard Sony. was really good. And I never saw. Uh, the one that's kind of World War No, no, not that. Not uh, not Valkyria Chronicles. Torture Attack. <laughs> Resonance of Fate. Yes, thank you, Night Demon of Fire. Oh yeah, I heard that was all right. Yeah, it, it, again, I wrote for a Sega fan site at the time, so any game that came out on, in AAA, which we were like, these are the last of these, right? I mean, that was and we were mostly right. Kind of the bummer of that generation. Sega made a lot of great stuff, but it yeah. was like the time of Call of Duty and mon modern gamers didn't seem to care about a whole lot else. It seems that that sort of shifted back. What was that black and white Wii game? Ah, <laughs> uh, the one that had. Uh, um, God, what was oh, that game? Mad, Mad World? Mad World. Yeah, there was stuff like that going on. Sega was like taking yeah. risks and making cool stuff and just not making money on it. 
because, you know, Sonic made all that. I mean, they made, like, Sonic 4 was around that same time, which sucks. Now I they, reviewed that and hated it. Now they barely make Sonic games. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Well, they made two last year. Good. One of them was really good. Yeah, the one not made by Sega. Yeah. That's just, that's just usually the case. <laughs> Galen Combo says Podtoy went on hiatus last year. Podtoy still exists? I was not aware of that. That's cool. I mean, not if they're on hiatus, I guess. That timer's moving real fast. Think we're going to make it? I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure they just keep coming. What are you on? Are you on a plane? I'm on a plane that's sort of in the middle of crashing. That's just, like, hovering? <gasps> nope. <laughs> Look at that great I finishing uh, screen. You got a silver medal. Yeah, that's, the, that's essentially the replay value. It's a pretty straightforward, uh, not entirely deep game that you can play. <laughs> the only joy of playing it through is like unlock more halos, you can unlock more shit, moves, uh, But that power was this ups. time. Like, it was just... I you love know, it. I miss games like super that. Super exciting, uh, action packed games. Not all of them had it's, to be deep. I think it's why I don't replay a lot of games anymore. Like, I can't handle... 30 hours of replaying something. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a lot to ask. Yeah. Like, it makes me think of God of War. God yeah. of War is like, yeah, you're killing gods and stuff. But, like, it's not... <laughs> there's no character to any of those guys. It's just cool. When... Thinking uh, about 10 minutes, I'll jump into the next Bayonetta. Oh, yeah. Night to Meter Fire says, The biggest disgrace was that Sega made a lot of Yakuza games that went mm -hmm. overlooked, but thankfully people are turning around in that franchise. Yeah, this was the time of Yakuza 3, which made no money. Mm -hmm. And then Kenzan came out, which we just talked about in 302010 and did not get localized, which, you know, was understandable. But then also a PSP game didn't get localized. And uh, we've and four took forever to come. We just felt like Yakuza was dead in the West, which which sucked at that time. But now it's yeah. like it's huge now. Like yeah, people every day I'm looking and Wario sixty four is talking about how like Yakuza, whatever the remake of the first one is called, is oh, like man. always on sale and people are always buying it. I, was, I know it's on sale, but actually talking to the guy at GameStop about this, mm -hmm. we see a lot of meta games nowadays. But um, you know, this is from the people who made Devil May Cry. So this guy drops Capcom references when you buy stuff from him. What are you buying? <laughs> There's a guy who used to say that. Uh, but some of the achievements, which I don't know how Nintendo can mirror, they were very specific Devil May Cry reference yeah. references in the achievement titles. Hmm. Bose. All right. <laughs> He's busy. Says, what was the Detroit podcast with Jim Sterling and Jonathan Holmes? Are you thinking of Pontoid? The Jonathan Porn Holmes? Star? Jonathan? No. No, the... Uh, great guy that uh, made a bunch of great YouTube videos back in the day. He's the best. He's still around. I, I got a him. silver award if you get the bronze. I met him once. He was very nice to me. If you get the bronze award, it's Joe Pesci. Oh, what a day. <laughs> All right. Man, you have no time to practice your combos because of how fast this loads now. I do not remember this at all. Sarusha's Mad World was flawed, but I still really enjoyed it. Yeah, it got very repetitive. That's mostly the worst part about it, especially when you're listening to uh, uh, the smartest man in the world. Uh, uh, fucking Greg Proops. Who, who's line? Greg Proops. Like you're hearing him just say the same lines again. Greg Proops and John DiMaggio, I think, were the guys just saying the oh, same whoops. things again and again. Oh, that's awful. Hey, I got an herb lollipop that will refill my health. Herb. Um, why not? Let's buy it. I got plenty of money. Bayonetta, Bayonetta's uh, combat is flexible and very flowcharty. Everything turns into some manner of combo. Yeah, lack of wear. Oh, look, it's a little... It's a dorb. She's got a Funko dorb of herself. There's got to be a Funko product of Bayonetta, right? I mean, that's why I was so fucking stoked to get the Amiibo, which was hard to get, because it's a Best Buy exclusive, and they sold out immediately, but... Um, it's a Best Buy exclusive? Yep. I, like her variant was, I think, because there's two different forms. <laughs> Uh, easy piece. I also met Han I also met Hamza once. He was nice to me too. He was really cool. He was wearing a very dapper suit at the time. There we go. Mm. One more level, and I want to jump over to Bayonetta too. What was that PUBG? Me... You playing PUBG now? Oh, my time is frozen for some reason. Super artist says I didn't know her clothes were made of hair. Yeah, her hair is in that Marge Simpson bun and goes all the way down and makes her clothes. And then when she when she uses it as a weapon, she gets naked. Because video games. You gotta look. But yeah, say what you will about it. It's still like, uh, going to Hogwarts? it's very creative. What a creative presentation. This looks like Universal Studio. Uh, this camera way to Hogwarts. definitely feels 10 years old. Yeah. Huh. As I love your double jump, you become a butterfly. That's awesome. And, like Brad um, in Monster Hunter. 
What? Oh no. See this this, you know, feels so much of its era that it makes make me feel all warm and fuzzy. Yeah. Like that, you know, PS2 into PS3 era where Japanese games looked like this and felt like this. I felt the same thing with Nier. Nier feels so much like it feels like a PS2 RPG to me, like a giant PS2 RPG. Okay. The, the the latest Nier, not the first Nier. What could it want? Nier me Automata. To do? Those ghosts are can you just not see them because you're an angel lady? Which is power? Do a witch thing. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's a witch. Mm hmm Durr. Double jump! Oh, hello. Full Amish wants to know if anyone wants light gun games to make a resurgence. Yeah, why not? I'll play those. Oh yeah, I forgot you can smash shit for extra coinage. Oh, Bayonetta smashes. Down here? What's going on? Uh, yeah, jump down there. Oh, there's. Ooh, that's cool. Did you take fall damage? Be careful. I don't think so. Dead Scribe agrees about near. Sarusha's Umbrella Chronicles Three. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, bring it. Give us that. Remember those games, the like on mm -hmm. Resident Evil games on the Wii. That was the thing. when the Wii came out. Everyone was like, "Light gun games. Every game's a light gun game." Red Steel. Remember Red Steel? Like what? You'd pick it at Red Steel. There's a one mini game where you see I make it. You get a phone call and some. You'd all put your Wii remote to your head and one person would hear like you're the package or whatever. And then you'd know that guy's the package. But because you're all sitting on the couch together, you'd be like, Oh, Bill's the package. Go kill Bill. What do I do here? I'm Guess confused. Gatling combo. This is the first bayonetta. For, we, bayonetta. We're gonna jump into um. We're gonna jump into the second bayonetta in just a moment. I didn't think I'd get tripped up. What the hell does it want me to insert in here? I totally forgot. Maybe I beat this thing up. Yeah, do some witch stuff. You shoot it? Oh, it looks like you're breaking it. Yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. That's video games. That's a family. <laughs> I want to get to one big fucking boss. Yes, I... I picked up a power-up, didn't get to see what it was. There it is. I think all the, did I hear all the amiibos do something for this? It's just like, but it's just like a little piece of story. I don't know. If only um, we had some amiibos around. No, we don't. Look, she's naked. Wicked weave. That's funny. Saru says they're getting rich stupid fast in Bayonetta three because of amiibo support. Yes. Super Rota says, wait, is this Kingdom Hearts three? Pro ZD just did a very funny video about Kingdom Hearts 3. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Do you have to close it? No, I think it does it on its own. I'm supposed to hit A as many oh. times as I can to like uh, get... Ooh, there's a platinum bonus in a platinum game. Are they making a third one? Yeah. Is it platinum? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they announced it during the Nintendo Direct. So. Yeah, I thought so, and then this one came out, and I was like, oh, maybe I was thinking of that. What is this, Kingdom Hearts 3? He's <laughs> a super yeah. odor. You had a big key. Lagerware like says that was a good run. This is cool. Oh, my God, you're Sonic. She does the Sonic <laughs> thing. It just <laughs> sinks immediately. <laughs> oh, my God, I still... When I hear that, I like my breath goes short, and I like my heart rate rises. I say she can't survive forever underwater. On this week's 302010, Diana makes a very funny joke about that kind of music. <laughs> what video? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it took me until listening to it again to be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Michael, I uh, hope he listens. What? What's going on? I don't remember. The Umbra Witch. Ah. <laughs> Wild Garbage Hopes Kingdom Hearts 3 has the black hole in it. Look, she's naked. What does it want me to do? I keep forgetting. Test of strength. Oh, dodge. I have to dodge it at the perfect time. Oh, I see. It wants, it's going to throw out... Um, it's going to... Damn it. It's going to throw out a thing I need to dodge and then activate my witch time, which slows down time, which will slow down the water so I can then so walk, can walk on, on it. it. That's cool. Ooh. Awesome. Jump. Mm. She's the Flash. Ooh, ooh. Triangle base. Sell stuff like that. Yeah. 
Tina Fey deserves her own game. Third I Rock agree. The game. Kimmy Schmidt the game. I concur. Great news the game. We can update the game. <laughs> It'll always be funny. I play a weekend update mm. game. I bet it'll be like, uh, uh, fucking, uh, what's that game that we play sometimes on the stream? Uh, uh there'll be like a Jackbox words game. Or Jackbox yeah, I was game. trying to think of Use Your Words, but it's pretty cool. Crowdsource weekend update. Yeah, Trackle Best is 30 Rock, the Telltale series. As we talk about an upcoming laser time, that is how weekend update works sometimes. You can fax them jokes. Yeah, don't have, we don't have the fax number. Yeah, or at least a few years ago you could fax them. I don't know if they still are. That's the thing. If you get the number, <laughs> then you can send them jokes. Like that's how. Like that number is just so hard to get that they consider. Like if you have it, What's send this? us jokes. This is what I think it is. I really like it. So one of the th the weird things they do to extend the gameplay. She's in the animus. Is um, uh, what like bonus rooms, like challenge rooms all over the place. Mm -hmm. Play them as much as you'd like. Oh no, this is just so I can talk to him and buy shit. I shouldn't have gone here. Chalice dungeons. Black Horse says, it's like if DMC felt more like Okami. And you can buy new weapons. This is so Japanese. Love this music. Yeah. Can't afford none of this shit. Roger Rabbit music. Um, Look at that beating crystal heart. That's a MAGA green lollipop? I can't, it really is a... You can't have its own Sarah color. Sarah Palin. Mm. Uh, Super Odor says, listening to the Black Panther review they, that we did, the, mm -hmm. they're surprised and not surprised by how black writers were treated. Yeah, we didn't even talk about Dwayne McDuffie in that episode. We should have. I don't even know who that is. He was a very, he's the guy that invented uh, Static Shock. Oh, okay. Or Static, as the character's called. But uh, very, very, very prominent black comic writer in his time. He wrote Justice League ah, 2. Shit, is where and I came from? Wrote on all the DC animated shows, and uh, he died very young and was half brothers really? with Keegan Michael Key, as we learned after he died. Oh, shit. Keegan Michael Key learned. I think, I can't remember if he learned while he was alive or not. Red Rock says they had to skip the spoiler section because they haven't listened to Black Panther yet. Or seen Black Panther yet. <laughs> Listen to Black Panther. You podcast. Hey, have you listen to that soundtrack? Yeah. It's fucking good. Yeah. Here's some music from it to break in, the, everything. in that episode. You want me to check? Mom's Secret Recipe says Bayonetta is their favorite game they've never played. You gotta play it, man. It's real good. I know it's a, maybe a tall order, this re-release, but like it's not a bad deal for two great games. <laughs> Triangle Pez says they love the fact that their Simpsons reference opens up the spoiler section. It starts with you <laughs> saying uh, the thing you said in the chat out loud. Yeah, what do these birds do? Fine. No, this was the this was the demo, this area. Oh, it was? Or at least it took place in this area. I don't know if it was this part of the game. But I vividly remember this. You're going to fight a giant thing. That's what I'm after. That's what I'm after. Give me a giant thing. And then we can jump into Bayonetta 2. Nancy Pinfire wants us to research who owns Ace Harlem and work on rebooting that. <laughs> I'm going to let a not-white person do that. I think you're perfect, Matt. I want you to work on Ace Harlem. <laughs> All right. I know, I know tons about that. Hmm... Let's see. Wow, he this guy has tons of privilege and uh, <laughs> gets easily into any building or school he wants to go to. Hey, boss. He's never had any strife or struggle in his entire life. I'm, I can't wait to write this character. Oh, John Hummel says the giant thing is after this section. Okay, I, He's pretty big, I guess. I think the demo starts here. You kill all these things. You do this section in the next one, maybe. It's been a long... I mean, we're talking about a PS3 demo from 10 Look years at this ago. Shit. How can you not love this? <clears throat> John Hummel, I watching it again. I was thinking about that too, about how uh, the the fourth clan who were removed from the other Wakandans said they were vegetarians. He might have been just talking about him and his family were vegetarian because he was talking about his children before that. So I think maybe he's vegetarians, but the tribe still has fishermen. Oh come on! I got to start dodging better. Oh, at least so that's my bad. no prize answer for it. But also, like, yeah, vegetarians in America. I am on and off vegetarian right now. <laughs> Damn. I want, I want someone to get me some more witch time. There it is. There it is. Uh, Ghost Little says, Why do the effects look so dodgy in Black Panther? The final fight had Blade 2 CGI vibes. Yeah, it's a little look rough. That shit, I'm pole dancing to win. Because Marvel movies cost $200 million. I can pick up their weapons still... and beat them with it. Look at that. Just like the burly bear fight in everyone's favorite Matrix movie. Oh, John Hummel's getting a vegetarian pizza. Mm. 
Tang oh, that oh. sucks. I'm sorry. Tango Gemini says, I pre-ordered this from Amazon, and it will be here on Thursday. Jesus. Yeah, Amazon's, Amazon's been really fucking up with me lately, too. And I, I whenever I message them to complain, they want me to, like, fill out forms. And I'm like, oh, man, I know that would help, but I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just take my complaint I'm giving you right now. Why didn't you send me somewhere else? Just give me my refund. Like, they sent me, um... I ordered the the Silence of the Lambs Blu-ray, and it comes oh. in this like beautiful cardboard box, and the corners get dinked because it was in just a fucking bubble oh, mailer. Damn it. But I ordered the Mr. Show DVD in a plastic case, and that comes in like a cardboard thing, like it's totally solid. Jeez, Fuck you, Amazon. Camera. How you doing? How's it feel? Not a good fight. Yeah. Yeah, I did pretty bad here. Where is he going? Angry Fruit Solid says Amazon is excellent this, in this, Canada this is for in Nintendo things. You don't go up there, sir. Oh, Tango Gemini still has more Dragon Quest Builders to finish. I've not picked it up yet. I will. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, this is it. You fight this in the demo. Seconds for your beloved whatever. I, I remember so little about the details of this game. Well, you didn't finish ah, the first one, right? Of course I did. Oh, you did? it twice. At least yeah. you haven't played much of it. No, I just haven't played it much since it came out. Oh. Stacy Pro, I did it did not come with lotion. Science the Lands Blu-ray. John Hummel says there's a bigger guy right after this, and that was where the demo ended. Okay. Ooh, I got hit. That's a really good demo. I forget how to I forget how to I have a I have a health power, but I should probably use. You know what else was a great demo of the time? Darkstalkers. That was like a whole game in that demo. Huh. Lily Fresh says they saw a video of a guy filling old Amazon boxes with used cat litter since they kept getting stolen off his porch. That's pretty funny. That's a great tactic. I would do that too. Get his little wings. He's like I Monster Hunter. Be on back. Oh fuck. It should have been on a list Look of that. Colossus games. Oh, I totally hit that. Damn it. No, oh, Tango Gemini points out next month is Kirby Star Allies, so it's a pretty damned good first quarter for the Switch. Yeah. I have so many Here games that I Here bought in December <laughs> that I have not finished or even started. <laughs> That's awesome. I believe I still have some inner activity here. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, I missed it. Still, I mean, exploded him, so. <coughs> See that? Partial nudity. Way to go, Nintendo. Yeah. See your butt. And I've unlocked a soundtrack. No hole, though. Smooch! Yeah, no holes or nips. Sorry, Matt. I know you really wanted them. And I get extra points because I saw and both I their buttholes. Hold this thing now. Um. Oh, wait. Are these things you're going to use? Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, they're temporary usage. Um, Matty, see, Alan, shut up. He said, wait, a Kirby game means it's a good quarter for the Switch? Yeah. Yeah, and it's, I think it's a weird ass time for Nintendo that like it's two flagship titles have had new stellar releases. What the hell do they do now? Yeah. Now how they, you, they put everything that? that no one's been able to play, like Bayonetta, yeah. on it, which is a great. That's a great second wave. It's just like, all right, here's a bunch of cool new games that take you 100 hours to play. Now here's all the games that you've wanted to play for five years but mm -hmm. didn't buy our crappy console. I hate that I skipped an entire Nintendo generation for the first time in my life. Oh, I missed my torture attack. Oh shit, I should be playing the second one now, shouldn't I? John Hummel says, as we learned from the Aerosmith video game, music is a weapon. I played the shit out of that game. <laughs> Revolution X? In arcades, yeah. He fired Ugh. records at people. Tango Gem and I agree. He says uh, they maintain that there are no mm. bad Kirby games. Which is true. Kirby yeah. is the most reliable fucking... Like, they take huge risks with it and make experimental crazy games. And they're all really good. I would just say there's, like, not a lot of excellent Kirby games. Kirby Canvas Curse is excellent. They don't, that one broke the mold just by u utilizing the 3DS real well. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Indeed. Palamas says they're really hoping for Mario Maker Switch. Me too. I never got to play Mario Maker. I didn't want to buy the 3DS one. Had no online. I don't what to do here. Ghost says there are no bad Kirby games. There are only more Kirby games. Yeah. 
Maddie Sound says, and they are babby games. Not all of them. Some of them are pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, witch time, baby. The free-to-play 3DS Kirby game? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, the, forget it. was uh, came out like a year or so ago. But I just stopped paying attention to Kirby games. They were so goddamn the same. John Hummel says, what else is coming out this year for the Switch? My kids have one after this quarter. I don't know what else big is coming. There's a, I feel like there's a ton of shit on the docket, but I can't think of any oh, right now. Uh, what have we talked about recently on... I mean, E3 is coming up, so they're going to announce some stuff there, I'm sure. Tango Gemini says, Kirby Superstars is my top 10 favorite games ever. Kirby Golf is awesome. Donkey Kong Tropical 3, uh, Freeze, Mario 10. Oh, my God. I cannot wait for that Mario Tennis game. That's going to be so rad. Bayonetta 3. Ghost Little points out. Labo. 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 Says Pasta Bird. Hyrule Warriors. Says Wild Garbage. Does that come into Switch? Uh, don't know. I no, don't thank you. That you guys can enjoy that. <laughs> I'm okay with you enjoying that. I don't want to. Well, Who be... else is shooting at this guy? I don't know. Brother Bayos. This can't be the only thing I'm supposed to do, though. I'm just not experimenting enough. Bayo. 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 Look, Smith. There's Labo. No, oh, no. Uh, John Hummel, it's made by the same guys as the Game Boy Color Mario Tennis, apparently. So, uh, Whoa, uh, hello. Cat, C Camelot? Is that what they were called? Camelot. Yeah. The good ones. Uh, Mega, Man Legendary, Mega Man Legacy Collection. Says Destructor. That's right. That's coming. I guess it's cool. Uh, Night Humidifier says, Grim is threatening people at Nintendo offices with broken bottles uh, <laughs> of St. Ives if they, to get Mother 3. Just you wait. Oh, yeah, Dark Souls. Thank you, Iron Shield. <laughs> because since Bob is in here to remind everyone. <laughs> that would have been the first thing you said. I'm so very excited for Portable Dark Souls. what do you say we switch over to the next Bayonetta game? Go for it. Thanks, y'all. Uh, I hope you join us for that one. Or just stay right here if you're watching.